Hey Rice fans, welcome to another episode of Rice and Advice. I'm Dr. Jared Hardke, Rice Extension Agronomist with the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. Today let's talk a little bit about the general appearance of the crop out there. Uh, a lot of comments and calls about the rice looking maybe just a little bit more pale than what a lot would like. So we're going to walk through and look at how some of this rice is responding to nitrogen this season and what we might can do about it uh, and work forward. Talk about whether we do or don't want to make any applications to address those situations because they may or may not uh, have anything wrong with them at all. Let's get started. Here we are looking at some plots of diamond, which is actually one of our darker uh, color appearance cultivars out there. So you can tell that it's not super dark green. Well, this is at Stuttgart on a silt loam soil and this plot right here actually received 180 pounds of nitrogen in a single pre-flood application, you notice it's still not super dark. Uh, very important that we look at it with the, from the sun at our back uh, to not give us uh, an even lighter uh, appearance uh, with the sunlight shining through it. So if we actually move on from the 180 pounds of nitrogen plot, uh, move just right up here to what's ultimately going to be 150 pounds of nitrogen, this is still pretty excessive in terms of what we need to achieve maximum yield on this silt loam soil following soybeans. And so somewhere between this 150 pound treatment and what we'll get into next, which is 120 pounds of nitrogen per acre, this one definitely looks just even a little bit lighter in color than the 150 pound treatment. This one traditionally comes in about probably 10 pounds of nitrogen per acre shy of what we need to truly maximize yield. Most of the time, silt loam soil for diamond, if we're going with a single pre-flood approach, it's gonna take 130 pounds of nitrogen per acre to get the job done and maximize yield. So this one technically is just a little bit shy, but again, looking at those previous couple of plots that had really excessive nitrogen, they still really have a general light appearance. Those plants are really moving along and doing well so color alone is not gonna tell the story for us, really to just kind of bring some of the rest of this home. We can really move forward into what is some definite color change and loss. You can have a much better appreciation here with 90 pounds of nitrogen per acre in these plots. Again, really getting light. You might almost be tempted to finally use the word yellow and finally, where we only put out 60 pounds of nitrogen per acre, we can easily see that that's not doing well at all, but it's still substantially better than where we put out no nitrogen at all. One other item that can come into play is the use of the green seeker. Even if you don't have a reference plot out there, it's not something we want to do all the time. We, we really haven't developed it to the point to be accurate for making necessarily recommendations in this regard, but we can go out to rice that's been heavily fertilized. And once we see a relative number from that, we know from our, our plot research experience, the number range we should be in to be adequately fertilized. So we got a 0.79 on the green seeker there. And we know that I, I'm back again in, in the highest, the 180 pounds of nitrogen per acre pre-flood. So that was a 0.79, let's look at the 150. Point 0.78, I'm still doing very well at 150 pounds of nitrogen pre-flood. and 0.75 on the 120 pounds of nitrogen per acre. So I'm very close, even on this one that I think might be a hair shy, but the numbers are still almost identical to what they were in the previous plots, even sometimes uh, exactly identical. So just because it looks just a little bit light out there doesn't mean that we're actually deficient and need to add more nitrogen. So that's a general walkthrough on how you know, color alone is not a great indicator of how we need to make nitrogen management decisions in rice. Right now, a lot of rice that, that has in fact been adequately fertilized, it's doing extremely well. 
We need to be careful about potentially adding any more nitrogen out there and creating other problems with disease and lodging potential when the rice is really doing extremely well. As rice is in the reproductive growth stages, continues to move along, uh, heavy progression. Uh, theoretically, we're probably looking at some very, very good yield potential on some of this rice. So with that in mind, we're, we're probably going to see more draw of that nitrogen, which is highly mobile in the plant. Going to be drawing it down out of those leaves, helping to give it that lighter color appearance as it's still continuing to take some up out of the soil. So all of that's going to be in play at different times of the year. Again, if you start to see some true declines, uh, it continues to get worse versus just kind of a mild lightening as you move into reproductive. Looks a little lighter than you want it, uh, but it certainly doesn't get worse and those plants are probably fine. We can always pull a diagnostic tissue sample, send it off to the lab and, and figure out what the percent nitrogen in those plants is to confirm that, that they are in fact healthy and have adequate nitrogen levels. Let's not just splash the field with additional nitrogen just because we think it's a little bit short. Frequently that's going to be an added expense that, that we don't need or get any benefit from and can lead to some of those potential problems out there. One important note that I don't want to forget is the fact that a lot of times optimally fertilized rice will leave you feeling like you left it just short. Uh, if the rice stays just a blue-green color all season long, never lightens up at all, we probably have way too much nitrogen out there, going to lead to problems. If you feel like you left it just a hair short, you've probably hit the nail on the head, optimum yield potential, no issues, stick with it. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Rice and Advice. Hopefully you enjoyed the discussion about what's going on out there currently with the crop, nitrogen uptake, general color appearance, and some of the factors we should consider when making a decision uh, whether or not to apply some additional nitrogen. Most of the time the color is going to hold just fine, uh, just lighten up a little bit as we move into reproductive, but watch out for any severe deficiencies that may pop up, sometimes where a field didn't get fertilized at all. See you next time.